we're transforming our TV from this to this. So my friends, this is my full and detailed review of the Samsung Q60C 55 inch 4K TV. Now this retails in the UK for around £650. There are no discounts or various different offers at the moment and it is about the same price in US. I'll leave the latest link for you to check it out yourself in the description box. So sit back, make sure you hit the like button if you find any value from this video. And for any reason, if you didn't like this video, hit the dislike button twice just to make sure. Now one thing you need to get your heads around with the Samsung is how they line up this year. There are a clear push to 8K range and certainly more light has gone to the QN95C, which is more or less similar to last year's flagship that we reviewed on this channel, QN90B. We'll leave a link above and in the description box. Back to presents now. So is this the best mid-range flagship TV for your home's entertainment setup? Let's find out. But before we get started, let's give thanks to our friends Motion VFX, who are the sponsor of this video. They provide the best plugins for Final Cut Pro and DaVinci Resolve. I'll leave a link of a free plugin in the description box and I'll also leave my discount code aptech10 for a whopping 10% discount. Now this has screen size available from 43 inch to 85 inch, so it can really go large. The one thing that I really like about this design is the build quality, which we'll cover in the next segment. The Samsung Q60C comes with well packaged and protected, ensuring your new investment is safe during transit. Let's kick off things with the unboxing. As we open the box, you will find the TV stand, remote control, power cable, user manual and few other accessories. The TV build quality is solid and feels premium right out of the start. Now let's talk about the design and the build of the TV. The Samsung Q60C features a slick and modern design. The bezels are super thin, offering an almost edge-to-edge -edge display, which is perfect for immersive viewing experience. The TV stands on a two sturdy Y-shaped legs, which are also a touch of elegance to your living room. One of the most crucial aspects of a TV is the TV display quality. The Samsung Q66 boosts a stunning 4K QLED panel that offers vivid and lifelike colors. The 55 inch screen size is ideal for most of the living room and if we wish to have a true cinema experience, we have this ALR screen which we can project up to 100 inch. So, in short, this 55 inch screen strikes a perfect balance between screen real estate and space efficiency. The HDR support ensures that you get deep black and bright white for amazing contrast ratio. Now the TV and the TV unit goes really well together and in the past we had about 75 inch TV on this table which looked a little bit overkill so we are truly glad that we went for this size. The gap of the TV and the table was intentionally set so it shows the TV is kind of floating on top of the unit. You have the option to raise the TV slightly higher to allow a sandbar to sit between the TV and the TV stand. This is what it looks on the rear and the TV looks brilliant with this table. It is essential to plug everything in before you turn the TV on and the setup is simple. So we have two choices here. We have the choice of putting the TV with the stand right here as it rightly came with the stand. Or the second choice is put it on the wall. But because I like the ability to maneuver around my living room quite frequent due to the setup that I have currently because of the projector reviews that I do on a weekly basis. So I would not put this TV on the wall because I don't want to have it permanently on the wall. Therefore, I'm gonna put it on the stand and then leave it on my TV stand that's currently behind me. Obviously the old TV that can go um, somewhere in the storage or on our cell. All right, so the setup that we are going for it's between A and B, and this is where you're gonna put it on a, a TV table. So the A is basically, you can see here, the tolerance is very small, whereas B, you're gonna have a big gap, and that gap means that basically you can put a sound system underneath between the TV and the TV stand. In our case, we're not gonna put a sound system um, there because we move ar ar around quite a lot, so we're gonna 
put it the tolerance really low so that way it looks kind of flush on the table rather than having that huge gap in between all right so let's quickly put the the legs in so you can see it has the clips and these are the things that's going to make huge difference so if i want it long i can put it here but because i want it um, really flush there there will be small gap in between so i'm going to have it somewhere here okay so that's in that's nice and secure we're going to quickly put the second one in so the good thing with this one is you can move it up all the way until where you feel comfortable so you can see that's nice and secure with the cable management here so as i mentioned earlier this is where the power socket goes which is right in the middle or ish to the right side and then after you put your cable in and then you can run through these channels if you want to this side or if you want you can run it through to that side um, although i would have liked to see some sort of a cable coming down here but there, there isn't any cable management coming down so you have to run it through these channels in order to secure the cable um, properly and obviously within the ports there are so many ports that you could have with this tv so you do have the standard um, antenna um, any um, dish that if you do want um, i'm glad to see that there is hdmi 3 which is really good so you do have hdmi 1 HDMI 2, which is eARC. Again, for those who are game pros on this channel, then you, you do have the option here where you can plug it into your PS5 or uh, Xbox. And then it has the LAN as well as a USB uh, type A and then another USB type A. So you do have two USB type A here. So let me give you a quick closer look. So you do have HDMI there um, and then you do have the HDMI eARC and then the LAN as well as the USB type A1 and then USB, USB type A2. So inside the box, we do have two remotes and we have the standard um, remote, which has all of the buttons and etc., as well as the smart remote. Obviously, this is what we are going to use most of the time because simplicity as well as um, it has the audio, for example, voice command right here, whereas the standard remote doesn't have the full voice command, but it has the Netflix and Amazon Prime or as well as a Samsung TV um, dedicated button, as well as custom buttons at the bottom, which is these red ones. Um, whereas on this one here, it has all of these custom buttons as well. So it has the Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney, as well as everything else. So this is the remote that we're mainly going to use. This remote, again, it's powered by solar. You can see there, it's got the solar system and uh, all, I, all I have to do is just put it um, somewhere against the bright sunlight, then it recharge itself. So that's a really nice welcome feature on this one. Whereas this one here, on the other hand, it comes with uh, two AAA batteries. Furthermore, it comes with a normal um, nice three pin UK standard. And the, the length of this is roughly about one meter. So this is really good because simply it's not attached to the TV. Now this is the remote that we're working with. So we're gonna quickly turn on the TV. Um, let's quickly pull this cable that at the bottom here. So now that means uh, this TV is ready to, to come back on. So I'm just gonna turn it on. See, so I have the choice if I can set it up with my smartphone or we can set it up with the remote. So we're gonna go ahead and set up with the remote. Yep, location. It's asking me to create a pin After turning on, it has asked me to enter my Wi-Fi and location. So if you're using digital antenna, you can connect your wireless network and set up the rest of the TV. Yep, we're, we're gonna agree with all of the terms and conditions. Let's quickly check in for an update. So basically my TV is already up to date because this is the 2023 latest version of Q60C. Select a voice assistant, either Bixby or Alexa to control your TV. In absolute, with no time, you will be fully set. Connecting Netflix or BBC iPlayer is simple. All I had to do is scan the QR code that is shown on the TV on my smartphone and accept the code on the mobile app. Then it was good to go. No need to manually punch in your username or password for Netflix or BBC iPlayer.
Moving on to smart features, the Samsung Q60C runs on a Samsung Tizen OS which is known for its smooth and intuitive user interface. You get access to a wide range of streaming apps including Netflix, YouTube and more. Browsing through your favourite content is a breeze thanks to the TV powerful processor. Audio is equally important when it comes to your TV. The Q60C features a multiple channel speaker system that delivers clear and immersive sound. A legendary. If you are an audio enthusiast, you can always opt for a soundbar for an even better audio experience. The TV also offers a variety of connectivity options. It has multiple HDMI, including EARC for gamers out there, and USB ports, making it easy to connect with your gaming consoles, Blu-rays, and many other devices. Plus, it has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth for hassle-free wireless connectivity. Sadly, there are no one-box connect on this TV, so all of the ports are right at the back in this corner. Samsung has also included a smart remote with Q60C. It is slick ergonomic and features a built-in microphone for voice command. You can control the TV with ease using your voice command through Bixby or Alexa. So, after spending some quality time with this Samsung Q60C 55-inch TV, what are my final thoughts? This TV offers a superb combination of design, display quality, smart features and sound. It is a fantastic choice for your home entertainment setup whether you love binge watching your favourite show or gaming on a big screen. The downside of this TV is that it lacks any advanced gaming features like VRR and it's limited to 60Hz refresh rate so you can't take full advantage of the latest console.